We need to talk about something that blew my mind away when I set it up and used it. I bought this as a gimmick, okay? It was like 150 bucks or $199 for a two pack. It looked like a webcam, it plugged into my TV. I thought, why not? I own co-working spaces, I zoom all the time. This thing's supposed to work with zoom. Maybe it'll be the, the bee's knees. Holy moly, was I wrong. It's not just the bee's knees, it's the dog's bollocks. This is the Facebook portal. And I am not Facebook's biggest fan, okay? All these tech companies, what they do with our data and the permissions that they want us to accept and all this other kind of stuff, like it just pushes it a little bit too far for my liking. But these guys have made something that I don't think most people have any idea how cool and awesome it is. This is a webcam like the Microsoft Connect of the old days. It's also a set-top streaming box. You can watch Netflix on here, people. You can stream Amazon Prime and most of the other things that you're gonna to wanna to do. It's got a storytelling mode. Look at this footage. I posted some photos when I was goofing around with it. You put your face in the story and it's doing its thing. My son who's 12 was lapping the thing up. There's all kinds of goofy picture modes and whatever else. And then the piece de resistance, for me, as somebody who owns co-working spaces and is thinking about building some Zoom rooms, is this can make me a Zoom room for literally $100 or less, straight up. It connects to Zoom. I can just dial in and log in with my Zoom ID and meeting passcode, and I'm straight in. It's got a motion tracking camera that's gonna move around the room as I'm walking. More people come into the shot, she goes wide. I checked it out in my movie room, and I mean, it was full on, the whole room was right there. I was blown away. Now, you're gonna watch the distortion because if you get your distances wrong and you get it close, you're gonna see that barreling and that beveling in the shot. But holy moly, did I mention it was $100 or less, depending on where you buy it from? I just, this could be hyperbole. I don't think I've been so surprised on a piece of tech as I was with the Facebook portal. I genuinely thought it was a gimmick. I didn't know why they were releasing it. I didn't know why anybody was buying it. Now I'm keeping these bad boys and I'm trying to figure out if I can get some more. You can go Facebook Messenger to Facebook Messenger, which let's face it, is more than 1 billion people. You can go Facebook Messenger to WhatsApp from the portal. So now we're talking way over a billion users around the world using WhatsApp. If you're not in North America, I suspect most of you use WhatsApp because iMessage isn't as big in the rest of the world as it is over here. So this one device has instantly allowed me to be able to have video calls and voice calls from my television in whatever room in the house I plug this in or in my office, in my conference room with anybody using Facebook Messenger and WhatsApp. I'm not good at math, but I'm thinking that's way over 2 billion people. That's like nearly half the world, at least a third from this device for less than $100 on Wi-Fi, free of charge, I can look at you, you can look at me, and we can hang out. Holy moly, this is what Connect should have been to the Xbox. This is what the Apple TV should have been for Apple users. Why they didn't put a camera in it and incorporate in FaceTime? Well, I know why, because they want to sell you a $1,000 phone. These guys don't, which is why they did it. In case you haven't noticed, I'm a little excited about the Facebook portal. I think you need to go out and get one. I think you need to put it in whatever room you want. We're gonna go hook these up and make some Zoom rooms in my co-working space, Work Lodge here in Houston, Texas. If you're in Houston, Texas, you need to come work out of my spaces because they're amazing, they're awesome, and I think they're the best. And I'm biased and who cares, they're my spaces and it's my channel, so that's how it's gonna be. Seriously, great piece of kit, great piece of hardware. It comes with an awesome remote. It's nice, it feels great. It, it's like the same size, it ought, if I didn't know better, I would say it's made in the same factory as my Google Chromecast remote. It literally is like the same shape, same button in the middle, same kind of circle around the middle button. Uh, it works great, it does the job, it does everything it's supposed to do. In use, I know that's what you're thinking, but Mike, is it really any good? Listen, the audio was killer, okay? We did a lot of testing with this, in and out the same room, in and out different rooms. The audio pickup is superb. Now, I don't know how it's gonna handle a lot of background noise. I haven't got it into my co-working space yet to see what the noise cancellation's like. But let's face it, if you're gonna do a Zoom room type setup or you're gonna use it in the home, 
really most rooms have doors that close. You're not going to get that much background noise. So I don't really think that's going to be an issue. Again, it picks your voice up really well. I was whispering and people were hearing it on the phone, in other parts of the house, in different places as I was talking. So you're probably wondering to yourself, but Mike, my TV is way for thin. How am I gonna sit this on top of it? That's a great question because I've got an LG OLED that's like this thick. So here's my answer for you people. There is a bottom piece that folds out and then underneath here is another little piece that folds out at the front. So the front kind of hooks on the TV like that and then you, then you push the bottom back up to get the angle that you want and that's it. She's perched on my fingers to demonstrate the thinness of a TV but away you go. Power comes from USB-C. It does need real power. You will not be able to plug it into the USB on the TV. You're gonna need a dedicated power outlet and then one good old fashioned HDMI. I love HDMI. I don't need adapters, I don't need dongles and away you go. The camera has a privacy slider so I can slide over it. Nothing is gonna get seen because it's got a physical button which is really nice. Obviously, that doesn't necessarily mean the microphones can't be hacked but if you're that paranoid, dude, just unplug the thing when you're not using it. Like, you know, it's the 21st century. You've probably got a Kindle. You've probably got an iPhone. You've probably got an Android phone. You've probably got Alexas and Google Nests everywhere. Like, we just got to figure this privacy thing out. So super simple connectivity, super simple. And if you don't want to put it on top and you want to put it underneath, then flip that thing in and that stand is going to hold it exactly where you want it. So just get your angle. It's a really nice friction stand, very firm. You get the angle that you need. The only thing I wish is that I could hook it to the bottom of a TV. Because in a conference room, I don't have a shelf I can put it on, but I don't want to put it on the top of the TV because it's pretty high up. I wish I could hook it underneath. Maybe I'm going to use some double-sided sticky tape. I don't know. I will let you know when I do it. I don't have a whole lot more to say. $100 or less, depending on where you buy it and what's on sale. Facebook portal, now they're called Meta. This is gonna be one of those pieces of kit that I say, just go spend the money. If you, if you communicate on a regular basis with anybody on Facebook Messenger, anybody on WhatsApp, or anybody on Zoom, <laughs> mic drop, peace out. So that pretty much sums up Facebook's portal. So I'm gonna move this out of the way. Goodbye, Mr. Facebook. Nice knowing you. And now we're gonna talk about the new Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. When I get it right, they make an S8 and the Ultra. This is the 14.6 inch tablet that they made just like a Microsoft Surface device. And you wanna watch this video to learn more? Go check it out.